Yeah, that's a different aspect. Okay. So let's see. So uh, someone has started live streaming this meeting. So. Yeah, yeah, Nikita. I think Nikita probably because uh, you know, I think in one minute we or very very soon we should we should start. Good morning, Dimitri. Oh, oh good morning, Alan. Good morning. How are you are. Well, I guess yeah. For uh, uh, I guess for you, uh, it's good morning for me. It's, it's breakfast yeah. time. Bon appétit, Alan. Okay, thank you. I'm looking forward to your talk. Yeah, I guess it's about to start. Is that right? Um, all right. So, welcome everybody. Uh, today, it's a great pleasure to have Dima Reutenberg speaking on equivalences of differential graded manifolds. Uh, Dima, I give you the floor. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Anton, and uh, thank you for inviting me to speak here at this meeting, which uh, for the last uh, uh, two years I have uh, yeah, diligently attended, and it's been my connection to uh, the world of, of mathematics at large yeah, during the, uh, the pandemic. So uh, yes, I just uh, wanted to uh, you know to share some thoughts that I've had uh, in uh, you know, the past couple of years and the years before, uh, hoping that uh, uh, some people out there will uh, also get interested and maybe will also want to you know, think about uh, these things. So let me start with uh, some introduction and motivation into this. This question that's on uh, that's on uh, the transparency here. Let's see what's going on. Uh, yeah. Right. So uh, this is the context um, of my talk. So uh, uh, right. So the context is this uh, this project uh, higher Lee theory, uh, which uh, I've been thinking about for quite some time now, and it's far from finished at this point. So it's within this context uh, that uh, I'm you know, trying to uh, you know, solve this, uh, this problem of equivalences of uh, DG manifolds, All right? So let me remind you uh, something about the classical Lie theory, which uh, you know, for the purpose of uh, so in, uh, this uh, this talk uh, will be the uh, well the famous theorems Lee one two and three, um, which uh, uh, all together you know, collectively can be encapsulated uh, in a pair of adjoint functors between the categories of uh, finite dimensional real Lie groups and Lie algebras, uh, which I will uh, state uh, very shortly. Um, and uh, so the idea is to extend this to well, to higher Lie theory, which you know you can also uh, you can formulate it uh, you know, in terms of three statements or uh, at this point conjectural uh, higher infinity adjunction uh, between the infinity categories of uh, you know, higher Lie groupoids and uh, higher Lie algebraids, and the latter ones are uh, are the DG manifolds that are. Really talking about. Uh, so yes, yeah, so the main difference is, so let me just uh, uh, briefly point them out. So uh, uh, so of course, uh, well, uh, these suffixes uh, voids here. So that's uh, certainly uh, important. Uh, however, this extension or the need for such an extension can be motivated uh, by uh, you know, just considering actually just Lie groups and Lie algebras and uh, and you know and very little else. Uh, I hope to convince you. So mainly this. Uh, 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 so the main change is that now instead of categories, we'll have uh, uh, infinity categories, uh, which means that uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, instead of uh, uh, sets of homomorphisms between uh, two objects, we'll have spaces of such morphisms. Right, so basically spaces up to homotopy or um, consequential sets uh, is the model that's uh, typically used. Right. And uh, another important uh, difference is that 
so what uh, what replaces uh, you know, simply connected Lie groups on, on the left side here uh, will be uh, horn contractible infinity groupoids, and that's like I want to emphasize even for uh, even just for Lie algebras uh, have to deal with uh, objects uh, you know like complicated bits of this type. So yes, yeah, so constructing uh, this infinity category of, uh, of uh, differential grade manifolds, of course, part of the problem of, uh, of building this, uh, this higher Lie theory here. So yeah, so this is uh, one theorem, which I uh, collectively like refer to as Lie theory, um, is that there exists uh, an adjunction between here we have the category of uh, um, finite dimensional real Lie algebras and finite dimensional real, real Lie groups. Uh, so we have the differentiation functor, which I denote by uh, lowercase l here, uh, which just uh, takes a Lie group and uh, yeah, uh, returns its Lie algebra and, you know, um, in any number of ways that people know how to construct uh, such a thing. And uh, it has a left adjoint functor here, capital L, uh, which uh, takes uh, a Lie algebra and uh, returns um, uh, one connected Lie group. That it's well, the Lie group of this Lie algebra. Um, now, uh, so as for any adjunction, uh, we have uh, canonical map, so for every Lie algebra G, we have the unit map, which uh, uh, goes from G to the Lie algebra of the Lie group of G. And uh, of course, we know that that's an isomorphism. Right? So if you integrate your Lie algebra uh, to Lie group and then take its Lie algebra, you, you, you're gonna get an isomorphic uh, Lie algebra back, right? And then there's also another canonical uh, map, uh, co-unit, uh, so for every, uh, Lie group G. So if you take uh, its Lie algebra and then integrate it to, uh, to a Lie group, so there is a map from that Lie group uh, back to G. Uh, and it's not an isomorphism. What it is, it's the universal cover of the identity component of G. Right? So indeed, of course, uh, that means that uh, uh, that the, uh, the, the the differentiation functor uh, uh, little l here of course loses information, uh, uh, but then uh, on the other hand it's essentially surjective, uh, whereas the the left adjoint here is uh, well it does not lose any information uh, it's it's a fully faithful functor, uh, and uh, yes yeah, so such an adjunction actually it has a name it's, uh, it's called a core reflection. So on the left adjoint is fully faithful and the right adjoint is essentially subjective, right? So the remark here is that uh, this functor L exhibits uh, the category of Lie algebras as a full co-reflective subcategory of that of Lie group, whose objects are basically the one connected one dimensional real uh, Lie groups. I have a question. Yes, please. Um, is, is epsilon, G really the universal cover or something isomorphic to the universal cover? Uh, so, well, the, the, I think the, the, the map, uh, well, the, the, the map is the universal cover of the identity component. Uh, okay, okay. So what, what, what do you mean by it's being a, isomorphic? It is a universal cover, yeah. There's yeah, some okay. choice perhaps involved. So there's something still up to isomorphism in all cases. Yes, I mean, well, this is, uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, yeah, these, uh, yeah, I mean, th these constructions are all uh, uh, defined up to isomorphism. Okay. Because for identity element. I mean, I, I, I mean, I could, uh, um, well, there, uh, uh, there is a specific construction one can, uh, um, I mean, which I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not telling you about that. I, I thought that's pretty well known. So you take uh, just the, uh, 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 the paths in uh, in your Lie group, starting at the identity, uh, 
So the endpoint of that path projects down to G, um, and then you mod out by, uh, by homotopy. So I think that's well, there's a specific construction uh, which produces this. this yeah, uh, actually, uh, there is a subtlety in the story. Yeah, if you, if you have infinite dimension algebras like vector fields on a manifold, you can construct a group of diffeomorphism by this way, but if it's not compact, you cannot. Sorry, I, I, I cannot uh, uh, hear very well. Yeah, we, we, we don't hear you very well, maybe. Uh... Okay. Repeat, yeah. No, no. Uh, could, could you could you give us more sound? Okay, I'll try. Yeah. Uh, no, the, as I want to say that there is a little subtlety in the story. It's it's kind of accidental fact in finite dimensional because you can imagine some infinite dimensional algebras like vector fields in a compact manifold. It's infinite vector fields can see infinite paths and make these constructions, then I get connected component of group of diffeomorphisms. But if your manifold is not compact, then you cannot integrate to the group. Yeah, uh, uh, yes, uh, Maxim, you're actually, uh, you're, you're absolutely right. And I was actually, uh, uh, so I emphasize here that uh, I'm talking about in this theorem, uh, that it only holds a finite dimensional uh, real Lie groups and Lie algebras. And uh, actually I was going to mention uh, the fact that uh, uh, this this uh, yeah, uh, this theorem uh, certainly fails in the infinite dimensional case, but not uh, but not always. It's really in some cases it doesn't fail. Sometimes well, yes, I mean it fails in general. Let's yeah. put it this way. Uh, so yes, it, it, uh, so there, there, there are indeed that's it, 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 it's, it's an important part of the story that there are non-integrable infinite dimensional uh, Lie algebras. Thank you for yeah for this remark. I'll uh, actually it'll, it'll be on the next slide. Okay. Uh, so well, the, um, right, so yeah, the, the, uh, uh, there are a number of uh, problems with uh, you know with, uh, with the statement. So uh, yeah, so there was one we just. Uh, highlighted by uh, by Maxine here, uh, but uh, for you know, for my story, the main problem is that uh, that higher homotopy also matters. Um, I just want to put it this way. Uh, so, um, what I mean by that? So, even in the, in the theorem that the, you know just quoted, uh, so uh, uh, the least third theorem. Right, the, uh, the, uh, the, the the possibility of integrating a finite dimensional Lie algebra to Lie group uh, depends crucially on a uh, certain topological miracle, yeah, which is uh, this Whitehead's lemma, which implies that if you if a Lie group is one connected and finite dimensional, uh, then its uh, second uh, homotopy group is finite because its uh, real second cohomology is zero, right? And this uh, this implies. Um, a certain process uh, implies integrability of central extensions, you know, which in terms, in, in turn, uh, implies the uh, uh, Lie three, right? And in fact, uh, even more is true, uh, that in, in fact uh, uh, such a group G is is even two connects. Uh, the uh, pi two is even trivial, right? And indeed, so uh, yes, so uh, Lie three is generally false. Uh, for uh, infinite dimensional Lie algebras, and that's essentially, uh, well, uh, apart from uh, you know, some analytic uh, uh, reasons that uh, may get in the way, uh, there is also a topological obstruction. The, you know, the, the, the pi two of G can be infinite in general in this, in this case. And then likewise, uh, 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 third uh, Lie three is, is false for Lie algebraids, even, even finite dimensional ones. And that, so in this case, uh, the reason is that, uh, well, these Lie algebraids have bases and there are you know, you know, foliations on the base. And uh, leaves of that foliation may have non trivial, uh, yeah, particularly even infinite pi two, where pi two can be anything you want. So that's uh, pretty well known. Right, so maybe the, uh, the upshot here is that, uh, is that uh, the second Lie theorem, right, the integration of morphisms, right, it says that uh, 
uh, morphism of the algebras can be integrated to uh, morphism of the corresponding Lie groups, provided the, uh, the source Lie group is simply connected, one connected. Uh, so it does not extend in particular to higher homology, right? Uh, uh, or other kinds of, you know, yeah, now I'm putting the you know, these higher morphisms in quote. Uh, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit vague at this at this point, but it can be made precise. Right, that the, the, uh, uh, there is a failure of Lie two um, in these uh, you know well in, in these situations here, and uh, uh, it, 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 it's really uh, the higher homotopy groups that get in the way. Uh, so, uh, Dima, Dima, excuse me. Uh, yes. Uh, so, by when you say how cohomology, you mean here group cohomology, like Vanest cohomology. Uh, right? That's uh, th yeah. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That, uh, like, for instance, a, a homomorphism from Lie algebra to uh, uh, to R, you know, to an abelian Lie algebra, it's the same thing as a one cycle. It's just the simplest kind of homomorphism. So, so if your Lie group is simply connected, that can be integrated um, to a group cycle, so group homomorphism. Uh, into R, uh, but uh, uh, what you need, for instance, for Lie three here is that you need to integrate the, uh, uh, a Lie algebra two cycle, um, and that uh, uh, that works in the fine dimensional case for, for the reason that I stated here. But it, uh, but then uh, uh, it's abstracted in the infinite dimensional case. But you and mentioned then, yes. but you mentioned the infinite dimensional case. Uh, but there are examples when actually. Uh, the corresponding groups uh, still exist, like Katz-Moody uh, Katz -Moody group. So although mm -hmm. the problem with Van Est como Van Est like cohomology is that uh, you need to, con instead, you need to consider cohomology that allows uh, extensions that are topologically non-trivial, like uh, in the case of katz moody group, where P2 of the corresponding group is Z. Now that's uh, yes, that, that uh, uh, that's right. But I mean, you, you end up with the cohomology, uh, 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 well, in the co-cycles with values in the circle, right? And uh, and yes, and uh, um, indeed, uh, you, you, you only have uh, locally smooth. Uh, I, I mean, you, there were constructions you that are replacing uh, were solving the problem in this case, just which I just well, vaguely remember. So the uh, Siegel or uh, Fadeev, uh, cut cycles, things like that. Yes, no, that's uh, yeah, uh, 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 right. I mean, I, I have uh, uh, all all that in mind, uh, right? So uh, because yeah, uh, I'm already thinking in like these uh, uh, you know higher categorical terms. So uh, uh, so a, a, a group uh, uh, co cycle um, uh, it, in those terms is really you know like it, it, it is a map. Uh, not from uh, like from the nerve of the uh, of your group, but uh, from some hypercover of it. Um, but my point here is that uh, if uh, well, it's like if you, if you have a non-trivial or in, in well, in particular uh, infinite by two, um, you can construct construct examples where even that is impossible, um, because uh, uh, well, you, you'll have uh, something like uh, something called the period. Uh, homomorphism from uh, from this by two to to some vector space which may have a, a non-discrete image, and then uh, you cannot just mod out by that image to uh, create something like a torus. Uh, so even that will uh, uh, yeah, uh, will uh, uh, will fail in general. So, uh, um, but yes, yeah, so uh, it, it's it's something that is, it's not really the subject of uh, of this talk. But I just wanted to kind of like highlight this that uh, uh, there there uh, uh, there is a lot of important work uh, uh, that's been done uh, by a number of people uh, on uh, like on these subjects. So I'll mention uh, the work of uh, Tang and Zhu uh, for Lee Algebraoid, and of course uh, Grinick and Fernandes who uh, uh, established uh, the, the precise abstractions uh, here, um, and uh, then uh, for. for for these infinite dimensional Lie groups, uh, uh, there was uh, you know, work by uh, Carl Hermann Nabe, uh, very important work. And then uh, there was a culmination in the work of, uh, of Wokel and, uh, and Zhu. Um, so all of the, uh, 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 so in the end, uh, uh, to, uh, to, you know, to completely solve these uh, problems, uh, 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 one had to introduce some higher structures, right? So uh, you could, Integrate from the infinite dimensional Lie groups, uh, but uh, so Lie algebras, but not to uh, to Lie groups, but by Lie two groups, 
and uh, similar for, for, for easily algebraic, and they uh, will integrate generally to uh, the two group weights and not to the group weights, right? So, um, so there is de definitely something, you know, something going on uh, here, and uh, and uh, you see all these pesky homotopy groups are always getting in the way. Uh, so let's see what uh, can be done about this. Okay, so I will now switch gear and just uh, I'll uh, uh, briefly go through the uh, uh, the definition of uh, uh, differential graded manifold. Uh, so yes, yeah, so, so for this talk, I will only look at the non-negatively graded ones. Um, right, so it's uh, it's uh, you can well, one one way to define it is uh, uh, to have a manifold and the sheaf of non-negatively graded uh, supercommutative. R algebras over it, uh, you know, such that locally, uh, um, locally they, they, they look like this. It's basically, you know, smooth functions on, uh, on some uh, open subset of the base, tensored with a symmetric algebra of some graded vector space. And I'm putting in B star here. Uh, so it's a dual of uh, um, uh, some finite dimensional negatively, grade, negatively graded uh, vector space. Um, right, if uh, we want to restrict our attention to finite dimensional ones. Um, and uh, yes, and also there is a homological vector field, which is a derivation of uh, a structure sheep of algebra derivation, which uh, commutes with itself or equivalent with squares to zero. Then there is uh, um, an alternative uh, definition uh, due to Pavel Shevera. Um, Calls this an NQ manifold, uh, which is basically a super manifold, uh, M endowed with the right action of uh, uh, the super monoid of endomorphisms of the odd line, right? And then there is this additional condition, uh, which, you know, which I would say is optional, uh, such that minus one acts as a parity involution. And this basically assures that uh, you know, the, um, the integer grading, grading you get is compatible with the Grassmann parity. But this is this is entirely optional. You can uh, drop this condition, and uh, the result that uh, uh, the two uh, kinds of grading will be completely independent. And in particular, this M not here will be uh, in general a super manifold itself, not just a manifold. So if you like, uh, we can uh, you know, we can think of uh, always being in that case. So uh, here are a couple of things that uh, uh, we need to know about the basic structure of uh, such DG manifolds. Right. Uh, so first of all, well, the uh, this base manifold uh, will naturally embed as a submanifold of uh, of the total space M uh, in such a way that uh, the restriction of uh, of our homological vector field to to this M naught uh, is zero. And one therefore gets the linearized uh, action, linearized DG structure on uh, the tangent bundle of M restricted uh, to M naught. Right. So that means that uh, we're basically we're getting a co-chain complex of vector bundles on M naught, uh, which is known as the tangent complex on M. Right. And then yes, so. Uh, uh, that the, uh, the the last bundle here E naught is always just the, the tangent bundle of of, of M naught here, and uh, this uh, this first map uh, first differential delta negative one um, is uh, called the anchor. Right. Oh yes, and uh, let's see. So uh, so the. Right, so the, uh, so the fiber here at the, uh, yeah, so, so the negative degree part at each X is basically just the vector space B from uh, the definition on the previous slide. Right, right so we have this anchor uh, and its image inside uh, the tangent bundle of M naught uh, is a distribution, which due to this D squared equals zero condition is uh, in fact involutive. And uh, the resulting singular foliation Generally, it's singular on M naught is often known to, uh, as the orbit foliation. So its leaves are uh, often called orbits. Right. So the, uh, those are well, the, two, the two basic, uh, you know, basic uh, facts, of the basic structure 
for the GG manifold. So, right, so you have uh, the tangent complex and then you have this, uh, this orbit foliation. Right, and then uh, uh, the notion of amorphism of DG manifolds, DG map uh, is pretty obvious. Um, right, just have to, it's just amorphism of super manifolds uh, commuting with you know, this, you know, the action of uh, the endomorphisms of the outline. Right? And uh, yeah, so these morphisms, of course, respect the orbit foliations, right? So they, uh, they take leaves to leaves and uh, they induce chain maps on the tangent complexes. And so this is the name I will use for the resulting category, so man sub dg. I have some, uh, some examples here. Uh, so just run through the usual examples. And there, uh, let's see, I, I, I guess even before, uh, before this example uh, of uh, uh, the odd tangent bundle, the shifted tangent bundle of a manifold, right? Corresponding to the Duram complex, that's probably the first one that uh, uh, the first example that uh, comes to mind. But the, uh, actually, even before that one, I should mention uh, the, uh, the trivial example, right? uh, just uh, manifolds, super manifolds with trivial DG structure. Right there, uh, particular cases of uh, DG manifolds. So, well, for, for, for this one, uh, yeah, there is only one leaf. and. Uh, yeah, that's all of them, not of course. And uh, the tangent complex is just the identity map. Yes, and then, the, uh, well, this example is in a uh, certain sense universal. It's actually every uh, DG manifold uh, over the base M naught uh, has a canonical uh, DG map into uh, the shifted tangent bundle of M naught, which is also known as the anchor by certain abusive notation. Um, and this, yeah, this can be best deduced from uh, the fact that uh, this uh, this DG manifold is nothing but the space of odd uh, curves in M naught. The next, we have examples corresponding to Lie algebras. Um, right, so for every Lie algebra G, uh, there is uh, a DG manifold G shifted by one, uh, whose base is a point. And uh, whose uh, algebra functions is just the uh, exterior algebra of the dual of uh, G uh, with uh, you know, the obvious grading and uh, uh, the Chevalier Allenberg uh, differential. differential. Uh, and its tangent complex is uh, concentrated in the degree negative one, uh, where it's just G. Uh, and this actually explains this, this notation. Right. And so more generally, well, it is combining the, uh, the previous two examples, uh, any Lie algebraoid, uh, so we have a, bound, a vector bundle over M0 with uh, uh, an anchor map like this and uh, an Lie bracket on sections satisfying the, uh, the well-known compatibility conditions. Uh, so one can form uh, this DG manifold, you know, A shifted by one, which is, you know, which has a base M0 and uh, sections of the exterior algebra of, of a dual. As its algebra functions, and then there is also a, a, a differential uh, D uh, on this algebra coming from uh, the bracket in the anchor. The formula is, is uh, very similar to the Carton formula for the Dirac differential. Right in this case, well, the uh, well the tangent complex is already uh, here. Right? It's just basically the anchor map. And nothing else, right? And so now we have uh, actually fully faithful embeddings of categories. So the algebras into the algebraoids, uh, and going into uh, DG manifolds. But, but of course, uh, the advantage of uh, this uh, last category is that it contains uh, other interesting objects. Um, so, for instance, if uh, uh, if the base is a point, it's such a DG manifold. Is uh, is going to be the same thing as uh, um, as a shifted L infinity algebra structure on the tangent complex, which is now entirely concentrated in negative degrees. 
Um, yes. So uh, cohomology of uh, this complex is canonically a graded Lie algebra. So in particular, H negative one. So the negative first uh, cohomology is always a Lie algebra, and uh, all uh, the other cohomology spaces are modules over it. Right. And I just wanted to remark that if uh, in negative one, if if, uh, if this space is, is trivial as well, then uh, basically what uh, yeah, what we get is just you know Sullivan's models for. Uh, rational homotopy theory of simply connected spaces at some point in this condition. Um, right, and that's well, a particular example of that. Here we, so we can uh, uh, look at a very simple DG manifold, which is uh, just R and well, it's tangent complex is just R and degree negative n. So it, uh, the algebra is generated uh, just by one variable u, which has degree n and uh, well, a trivial differential. And then we can apply the uh, shift the tangent bundle functor to it so to uh, produce this DG manifold. Now, well, D is just the Duran differential. Uh, and uh, uh, the reason these are worth mentioning is that uh, uh, they uh, represent uh, co chains and co cycles uh, with, uh, in the algebra functions in M. Right? So, uh, so if you, uh, a map of DG manifolds from any DG manifold M into uh, this DG manifold is uh, the same thing as uh, N code chains. Um, uh, well, uh, same with this, I mean, a global M code chain, N code chains on M. And uh, for this one, for, for RN, these are just uh, the, uh, the closed from the N code cycles. Sorry, Dima, what do you mean by n chain? It's just nth degree functions or what? Yes, n degree functions in degree n of degree oh, n. Okay. Yes. okay. Uh, globally Thank defined you. functions in degree n. And uh, or you know, the, the ones with, whose differential is zero. Okay. Then yeah, I guess well the uh, uh, the most general uh, the worst thing that can happen is you know. Uh, so we can consider a shifted Lie algebraic structure on a uh, complex like this of vector bundles over some manifold M naught. So we have an anchor here, and then uh, we have a bunch of brackets which uh, satisfy uh, the well-known compatibility conditions again. And you know, from this data, we can also form a DG manifold like so, uh, with these brackets and, uh, and the anchor assembling into a uh, differential. Uh, D of square zero. Uh, and this, yeah, such a DG manifold is called split. Uh, because, well, in fact, um, uh, any, uh, any finite dimensional real DG manifold uh, is isomorphic to one of this form, but in a non canonical way. So. Uh, citing a result here to this effect. So uh, what's involved uh, is really splitting uh, a bunch of uh, extensions of vector bundles on, on M naught, which uh, in this uh, in this infinity setting uh, can always be done, uh, but of course not non-canonical, right? So DG manifold, the point is that DG manifold is basically the same thing uh, as a higher Lie algebraic, uh, well, except that these brackets are not canonically defined. Um, I'm going to also briefly talk about uh, you know, higher Lie group words, uh, simplicial manifolds. Uh, so what we have on the global side here. All right, so this is the standard definition of the simplicial manifold is a functor, um, contravariant functor in the category of finite non-empty ordinals, uh, which can be more concretely described as a tower of, uh, of manifolds and maps between them. Right, so these are the spaces of synthesis of uh, the dimension indicated in the subscript. And then we have face maps going down and degeneracy maps going up, uh, which uh, again are subject to well-known compatibility conditions. Right, uh, and then, well, what, uh, so the, 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 uh, I don't wanna say much uh, about the theory of simplicial manifolds. Uh, and just to, uh, to remark that if, uh, let's say we have a finite simplicial set K, um, which is a uh, you know, finite co-limit of its non-degenerate simplices, um, we can form uh, uh, 
the sheaf, which is denoted by x to the power k, which is the corresponding limit of uh, uh, these manifolds here. Um, and I'm saying sheaf because it's uh, 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 it involves taking a, a finite uh, uh, limit of manifolds, which uh, may not necessarily be representable. Uh, but of course, we can still consider it as a sheaf. Right. And uh, yes, yeah, so correspondingly, if you have any map of uh, say finite simplicial sets like this, uh, then we have a map of uh, of these sheaves uh, going in the opposite direction. Particular instance of this, uh, uh, so such maps are uh, horn inclusions. So uh, if you just take, uh, you know, take an n simplex, and for each vertex, consider the union of uh, of uh, uh, top dimensional of, of n minus one dimensional faces of uh, uh, the simplex uh, center that uh, you join, or rather joining at that at that vertex. Right. So that's that's a horn. So we have uh, for each vertex, we have a horn inclusion like this. So uh, we have a simplicial manifold that is set to be con, so to satisfy the con condition. If uh, the corresponding maps going the other way, so this x sub n is of course x to the power delta of n. It's the same thing as just the, uh, the space of n simplices. So that the, 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 these projections are surjective submersions for all n and all k. Right. Then, of course, uh, uh, yeah, part of uh, part of the definition is it, it, it is ensuring that uh, that the sheaf is in fact representable, right? And it can be shown inductively that uh, that it always is, uh, right? And this, yeah, there is a certain additional property that I'm going to introduce here. So, uh, so you have a constitutional manifold that's said to be horn contractible. If furthermore all of these uh, maps have contractible fibers. Uh, so this, uh, this, you can think of that as, uh, uh, as a generalization of uh, the notion of a, uh, say, source simply connected Lie group void. So yes, in fact, this is uh, uh, the first example that uh, you should think of in this context. So if you have a Lie group void, you can form its nerve. Um, the way I indicated here, it's uh, it's, it's very well known uh, that this is a consimplicial manifold. Yes, and in fact, that these uh, you know, these one projections are isomorphisms for all uh, simplices of dimensions higher than one. So it's only for n equal one, right? So we have the source and the target map, which are not necessarily for isomorphisms, but are subjective submersions. Right, that it being horn contractible, therefore. Uh, it means that these, uh, you know, the, the, the source and the target are subjective submersions with contractible fibers. So it's a source contractible as opposed, as opposed to uh, merely being uh, source simply connected. Right, and then yes, another example is uh, we have a cochain complex, a negative, uh, uh, negative non-positively non graded cochain complex of vector spaces. Uh, then you can form a simplicial vector space from it by applying the dot con uh, functor to it. So it's a simplicial vector space, a particular simplicial manifold. And it, yeah, it can be shown, it's called Moore's lemma that uh, uh, this one always satisfies uh, the con condition. Right, and this is yeah, another particular case of it. If you just have this uh, uh, vector space from a previous example, uh, then it can be shown that uh, that simplicial co-chains and co-cycles on any simplicial manifold X uh, are also representable as maps in the category of uh, simplicial manifolds in, in this way here, right? Just mapping into K of Rn, it gives you the, the co-cycles, and then mapping into T1 of R, K of T1 of Rn uh, gives you general co-chains. And particularly, while well, I mean, setting uh, uh, your simplicial manifold to be the nerve of some Lie group, uh, you can interpret, uh, indeed, interpret Panest's uh, theorem as a version of, of Lie 2, right? And then, uh, of course, this, uh, the integrability of the algebra closed cycles is generally abstracted by higher homotopy groups. Dima, excuse me, you, you mean one uh, spectral sequence? Yeah, uh, well, uh, the theorem of Panest, uh, uh, the, the spectral sequence is used in the proof of that theorem. Um, 
No, I mean, the spe- well, the, uh, the existence of spectral sequence is a part of the statement, as far as I understand. Um, well, okay, uh, the statement is that uh, uh, the funnest uh, map uh, taking the uh, uh, Lie group uh, uh, co-cycles to the algebra co-cycles, the differentiation map, uh, is an isomorphism um, in the di- in, in dimensions uh, up to uh, 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 in the dimensions uh, uh, up until the first dimension where the homotopy uh, group of, of G is non trivial. Right, but this spectral sequence itself, so it's just, I mean, when that spectral sequence which relates the group cohomology, the, uh, the algebra cohomology, and the topological uh, cohomology. So that perhaps this is, uh, I thought you, you meant this uh, spectral sequence as a version of Lift 2. No. Uh, well, I, I, I mean, uh, strictly speaking, I'm uh, yeah, I'm thinking of uh, you know the statement uh, uh, that the, uh, the finest map uh, uh, being a uh, cohomology isomorphism up until a certain dimension. Yeah, but for good groups, it, 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 it's it's well for like compact. It's never so that means well exactly. So uh, uh, <laughs> that is my uh, my main point here is that uh, uh, simply connected groups even, uh, uh, will generally have a higher homotopy and even infinitely many non-trivial. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fine. <laughs> So this is uh, right. So it, uh, it's a, it's a lead two which is abstract. Right? So what uh, uh, the question is what uh, 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 what do we do about it? So that's that's why um, we want to build a higher lead theory on the objects for which uh, lead two would not be abstracted in this way. Okay, uh, let's see how much time I have. Um, because I want to get to a uh, discussion of, uh, of equivalences. Uh, so, yes, so, uh, right, so th- just to finish up this, uh, 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 this story, um, so why, uh, 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 um, just, you know, kind of a, 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 a bit of a reason why uh, we can think of uh, contemplation manifolds as uh, uh, higher Lie groupoids. Right. Because I mean, well, you have these uh, uh, these horn projections p and, and, and comma k, right, which is supposed to be sub- surjective submersions. Uh, therefore, they you know they they, uh, uh, they have local sections, right. And if you uh, compose uh, uh, such a local section uh, with uh, the remaining face map, uh, so this can be thought of uh, uh, as a kind of composition of a bunch of n minus one simplices. Uh, uh, with the result another n uh, n minus one simplex. So uh, and, and and you have uh, you, uh, you have uh, so you have these maps uh, for, for every dimension. So uh, uh, so in, in this way, so such a consequential manifold can be thought of as a you know, very weak version of a highly groupoid. Uh, so it has various uh, multiplications, divisions, and coherences. Uh, and so on, and all of those are uh, only locally defined, and uh, and, uh, and of course never canonical. So there are always all these choices. Uh, so and even while in, in some cases, like for instance, if uh, if your uh, uh, if your uh, simplicial manifold is uh, horn contractible, uh, then uh, of course these maps admit uh, global sections, uh, and not just local. But even in that case, of course, uh, you know, these sections uh, constitute a choice. Um, so we, uh, we we have these uh, you know these various compositions, uh, but uh, they're yeah, the, uh, 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 they they depend on choice. They're not canonically defined. Uh, so, in the same way as uh, a, a DG manifold can be thought of as a, as a weak uh, highly algebraic, because you know, it can also be made into a, a highly algebraic, but uh, uh, but in a non canonical way. So there are some choices. Uh, you know, some maps need to be split. Right, so uh, this is uh, the last thing I want to say about this is that, uh, well, this, uh, this category of uh, contemplation manifolds actually supports a nice homotopy theory uh, in the sense that one can define homotopy groups uh, actually in various ways, uh, weak equivalences, hypercovers, uh, right? and I, uh, 
you know, refer to the work of uh, Andre Enriquez and uh, Birman Getzler and uh, uh, Chris Rogers and Chen Chen Zhu. I'm probably forgetting uh, people for you know in their work for which I apologize. Actually, it's all based on uh, an earlier work of Joyal and Jardine on the uh, homotopy theory of simplicial sheaves and, uh, and pre sheaves. So the point here is that while well, we, uh, uh, we do have a well established homotopy theory, um, so we can uh, think of these uh, Lie group words as objects in an infinity category. Uh, which uh, you can obtain uh, from uh, the category of non-sequential manifolds uh, by localizing uh, at uh, the weak equivalences. Um, so uh, yeah, I guess I should say, say it uh, in a bit that the uh, one way of, uh, to think of weak equivalences uh, is uh, your know, maps which induce uh, isomorphisms in all the sheaves of homotopy groups. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so, I'm going to talk about this, uh, yeah. Um, uh, this notion that I learned from, um, I think it was uh, year 2000 to 2001 was it the paper of Pavel Shevier, which I think was really visionary. Um, it was inspired by a uh, very famous paper of Dennis Sullivan's uh, from 1977 on the rational homotopy theory. Um, right, where he uh, you know, mentions in passing that the uh, uh, yeah, one connected Lie group integrating a uh, Lie algebra is, uh, in a certain precise sense, its a fundamental group. Right, so it doesn't uh, uh, think of it as a Lie group, right? but uh, this uh, yeah, uh, can be easily be accommodated. Uh, yeah, this construction can easily be uh, sheafified. Uh, in the following way. So this is uh, uh, this is uh, to give this definition. Uh, so if you uh, given the differential graded manifold M, so uh, let's let uh, this L of M be uh, this, uh, the following simplicial pre sheaf on the uh, category of manifolds or super manifolds. So its uh, value on uh, the parameter space B is uh, uh, just a set of uh, DG maps uh, uh, from this uh, DG manifold. Here, here B is endowed with the trivial DG structure. Right, so it's uh, yeah, it's that times uh, the shift of tangent bundle of uh, the simplex, and now I'm, I'm putting the uh, the variable, the simplicial variable here, um, the dimension variable. So uh, a set of maps from uh, uh, from this into M. Right. Um, and well, uh, it was uh, uh, it was proved by uh, Shaver and uh, and Shiran, uh, some uh, six or seven years ago, uh, that uh, this uh, this pre-sheaf is actually representable uh, by a consimplicial Frechet manifold. Of course, this is infinite dimensional, uh, which they called K. So it's basically the, the space of maps uh, from this uh, digit manifold to M. So in a way, this you, you can think of this as a space of uh, solutions of generalized Marrow-Cartan equations on the synthesis defined by uh, the DG manifold M. Right. Well, and yes, so uh, there's another remark is that uh, this is, a, it, in fact, what they construct is even horn contractible. It's uh, not hard to see. Um, right, so, we, uh, uh, um, so we shall view this, uh, you know, this object as an object in the infinity category of uh, priorly group voids. Uh, and immediately, so this example, you know, uh, that's the one going back to Sullivan, right? So if uh, you apply this to Lie algebra, so you end up basically uh, over the space of one forms on the simplices, one to the simplest dimension, uh, which satisfy the, uh, the Mara uh, Cartan equation. And for this one, again, so this, this is due to Sullivan, uh, the homotopy groups of the simplicial sheaf, uh, the special space are these. 
uh, the, the ones indicated here. So it's uh, the, the, the fundamental group is, uh, is the Lie group corresponding to G, and the higher ho uh, homotopy groups are uh, simply those of G, of this, of this Lie group G. I view there's a manifold. Dim, do you assume anything from, from G um, here? here uh, My question is about contractibility yes. or something. Uh, no. Uh, do you say contractibility? So I didn't hear the last word. Well, I mean, uh, do you assume anything about the topology of your group G here? Uh, it, it's yes, uh, G is a manifold. No, uh, so let's say it's a, 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 well, a, can it be let's compact? Assume, let's assume that G is a finite dimensional real D algebra. No, a capital G, well, capital yeah. G, the group, the group, yes, does it have to be uh, can it be compact, for example? Uh, it, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, it, it, it literally is the you know, the, the simply connected Lie group integrating your Lie algebra, which may or may not be compact. So the statement is true for, uh, well, regardless uh, of the type of G, so there's no obstructions. No, no, no. Uh, um, it's actually, uh, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it's, not that, uh, it's not that hard to see. Um, so in this case, uh, horn contractibility of, uh, of the simplicial set does not have nothing to do with the uh, topological properties of the corresponding group. That's what. Uh, no, the 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 the, 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 the uh, no the horn contractibility uh, or just contractibility in this case. I mean, this is a contractible uh, simplicial manifold. Uh, it has to do with just the contractibility of, of the simplices themselves. Oh, okay, right. Right. And just, uh, I mean, that, uh, that, that horn contractibility is ju it, it, it just ensures that uh, that maps out of that object. Uh, can be constructed without obstruction. Right, so, um, okay, let's see now. So, uh, yes, for, um, yeah, so here's another example. So, yeah, for, for, for our shift of tension bundle, um, what we get is uh, it's basically just the, uh, the singular uh, complex of similar simplicial complex of the base. Um, it's just this here and here the, uh, uh, well, the, the, the homotopy groups of, uh, you know, this, uh, this simplicial manifold are just the, uh, uh, the usual, uh, you know, topological homotopy groups of M naught, right? It's just, the one just has to use the fact that uh, uh, those can always be, whole homotopy classes can be represented by uh, C infinity maps dealing with manifolds. Um, okay, and uh, yeah, so it's a sort of more interesting example. So it's an essential example uh, in this story. So if you just have a reduced uh, um, DG manifold, so the basis of points, so we just have L infinity algebra, uh, then it was, uh, 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 then the, 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 uh, 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 was shown by Andre Henriquez. It's just, it was a very important work of his. Um, how to compute uh, the homotopy groups of, uh, of L of M in this case. So, uh, so one uh, basically has uh, you know, successive truncations of, uh, of the tangent complex uh, leading to a uh, tower of vibrations uh, whose limit is, uh, is this L of M. And this tower of vibrations uh, so leads to a spectral sequence. Um, Converging to uh, to these homotopy groups, uh, but uh, in this case, uh, this uh, you know the, the, I'm showing the E2 page here. Uh, it, it's really sparse. It basically has this one column um, and one row on the side, and the differential. Or the, the, the these maps, the, the, uh, uh, these are the differentials in uh, in each subsequent page of the spectral sequence end up being a connected, uh, sorry, the, the connecting homomorphisms in the long exact sequence of Andre Enriquez. Um, so, um, so one of the consequences here is that um, um, 
these uh, these homotopy groups are uh, these homotopy groups are, are, are no worse than uh, uh, you know, vector spaces uh, modded out by uh, not necessarily discrete uh, subgroups, so, so diffeological uh, groups. All right, so they, 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 this is nice enough to have uh, Lie algebras, and these, these Lie algebras are shown here. They're basically just, uh, just the cohomology groups of uh, the tangent complex. Uh, now, yeah, I finally come to, uh, to the main statement. Um, so uh, now I uh, first define what it means for a map of differential manifolds uh, to be a weak equivalence. Uh, and that is simply by reflecting back from, uh, you know, from, uh, from this construction L of M. Right, so we just say that the, uh, that the map is a weak equivalence uh, if and only if, or, well, uh, this L of F, so the map from L of M to L of M prime is a weak equivalence of simplicial free sheaves. All right, so in other words, uh, it induces isomorphisms on all sheaves, uh, it's more isomorphisms of sheaves of all, of all of the pi i's. So by not and all the, the higher pi i's and all base points. Right? So it's a definition, but uh, 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 and it's reasonable, uh, but of course it's not uh, it's not very workable. Right? It's, it's rather abstract. Um, so uh, to have something to work with, uh, one needs to uh, to have a, a characterization of, of these weak equivalences in terms of. Uh, of, 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 of the DG manifolds themselves without first going to, uh, uh, you know, to, 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 without first integrating, so to speak. Right? And uh, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, the, uh, yeah this, this is my main conjecture, you know, which I cannot yet prove in full generality, but uh, uh, I, I'll, uh, I'll show you um, the cases in which uh, yeah, uh, I do know it to be. Uh, to be true, well, in some cases it's even obviously true. Okay, so uh, so it says that the uh, DG map is a weak equivalence if and only if it satisfies uh, uh, the following three conditions. So first of all, it has to induce a bijection of, uh, of sets on, on the pi knots. In other words, uh, uh, the spaces of orbits. So. So it's just a, 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 that the, the induced map on, on the set of orbits uh, is a bijection. So you're gonna have to have that. Um, and then the second condition is that on each orbit, on each leaf, uh, the restriction of F naught, so the, uh, the bottom degree map, um, to, uh, to the orbit. So this is, this, is an, uh, this is the letter O, not the number zero. Excuse me, my apologies for... Uh, Handwriting here. So yes. So so in each orbit, right? So the uh, the induced map from O into F naught of O. Uh, so the uh, is a weak homotopy equivalence. You mean in the ordinary topological sense? Yes, the weak homotopy equivalence of topological spaces. Of yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right. So just yes. Uh, 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 so it uh, means that it induces um, isomorphisms in all the homotopy groups. And finally, um, so for each uh, base point, um, the, the induced uh, chain map of uh, tangent complexes is a quasi-isomorphism. So it's a, a, a homology isomorphism. So the claim is that the, uh, uh, that the weak equivalence in the sense of the definition uh, occurs if and only if uh, uh, these three conditions are satisfied. Excuse me, do I understand that orbits are manifolds themselves, yeah? Uh, orbits are manifolds indeed. And uh, yes, yeah, so the second condition says that uh, uh, on each orbit, uh, the, uh, uh, the map induces a, a weak homotopy equivalence. Oh, oh sorry, Which... so there's so there some kind of technical point. I think there's a sampology. You can have smooth manifolds with in, which are not countably generated, some set theoretic topology. Mm -hmm. Which you, you you can have at least some manifolds, unnaked manifolds, which don't have countable then subset. 
which can give some troubles in general. It doesn't um, exist on analytic world, I think it exists on C infinity world. But uh, like, like a very long line, things called something. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, can uh, such uh, pathologies occur as orbits of uh, singular foliations on uh, on finite dimensional manifolds? Yeah, no. Imagine kind of long line, whatever it means, and foliation. Yes. Yeah. Uh, right. I guess I. Uh, uh, but can it be submanifold? Yeah, probably. Should have, wait, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I should have uh, uh, said from the outset that uh, uh, my manifolds are assumed par compact and Hausdorff. Uh, if the original uh, manifold is good, can can a weak a long line, for example, be a submanifold there? If you start a second countable manifold, perhaps you cannot have a submanifold like a long line. Yeah, I, uh, 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 if uh, the question is addressed to me, then uh, I must confess that I, uh, uh, I, I do not uh, have an answer off the top of my head. Uh, I, I've always thought that this, uh, uh, this couldn't happen, but I, mean, I don't uh, have an immediate reason. And uh, if, if I'm wrong, uh, someone please correct me. Okay, so uh, examine this is uh, this is a conjecture, and um, um, if uh, I mean, you know, and of course, every everyone is welcome to you know, to prove it wrong. Uh, I'll be very happy if uh, uh, someone disproves it. Um, just means that things are more interesting than I had thought. But okay, if I uh, yeah, I don't have oh. I'm just out of time. Uh, let me just, uh, uh, if, if I can have uh, a couple of minutes uh, just to discuss uh, a couple of cases when, uh, yeah, oh, 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 when I know. Oh, go ahead. Right. Thank you. Um, right, so uh, it's interesting to, uh, uh, to know that, uh, that for many folks with, uh, with a trivial DG structure, uh, uh, it uh, traduces to the following statement. That uh, it says that the smooth map of manifolds is a deep morphism uh, if and only if, um, well, it's, uh, it's a bijection of the underlying sets and on each tangent space, uh, it's a linear isomorphism, right? which is basically just the inverse function theorem. Right? This is, you know, uh, 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 this is a true statement, which, you know, which isn't uh, you know, entirely trivial, even in this case. Uh, and yes, uh, and on the other hand, next example, if, uh, if, if you think of what happens in this case, when uh, your DG manifolds are of this form, shift the tangent bundles, um, then uh, you know, according to what we know about uh, its homotopy type here, uh, that, uh, that the map uh, of these is a weak equivalence, if and only if, um, the underlying map of the basis is a weak homotopy equivalence in the usual sense, right? And uh, yes, but by, by the nearest property, by the way, this uh, 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 there aren't any other DG maps uh, which are not of this form. So all DG maps to such uh, DG manifolds are of this form. Um, now for Lie algebras, um, um, uh, the story also checks out because uh, in fact, um, a map of uh, DG manifolds like this is a weak equivalence if and only if uh, the corresponding map of the algebras uh, is just an isomorphism, right? Since, yeah, you know, just going back to Solomon's result and the usual Lie theory, right? That the, the first, uh, the fundamental group is, uh, is the simply connected group integrating your Lie algebra and the higher homotopy groups are just the homotopy groups of that uh, Lie group viewed as a manifold. Right. So weak equivalence, uh, is the same thing as an isomorphism in this case. Right. And uh, well, let's see, for, 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 for these uh, reduced DG manifolds, L infinity algebra is the case considered by, uh, by Andre Henriquez. Um, uh, just going back to his uh, 
you know, this, two years long exact sequence and studying it, uh, um, uh, we conclude that the well, weak equivalences are, you know, uh, uh, something that you would just expect in this case, they're just the quasi-isomorphisms of the underlying complexes. It's just l and quasi-isomorphisms. Uh, uh, studied a lot. And this, well, essentially it's, uh, is due with the fact that the Lie algebras of these homotopy groups uh, are just the, uh, the corresponding homology groups of the tangent complex. Right, then, uh, yeah, so, uh, um, yes, the, uh, 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 that, you know, uh, uh, now this is as far as I can go with this. So, so let's call the DG manifold transitive uh, if it's if its anchor is surjective, it's just like Lie algebra. It's just uh, these Lie algebras can be higher. Uh, it's the same definition. And immediately, I need to make a remark that uh, that uh, such a transitive DG manifold uh, uh, is locally trivial, right? So it can be locally decomposed um, uh, as T one of the base uh, times some L infinity algebra, right? So it's the same L infinity algebra, the fixed one. The, so uh, uh, one proof of this can be found uh, in uh, Ted Voronov's paper uh, from uh, over 10 years ago. Uh, and in particular, uh, yeah, a transitive DG manifold is regular in the sense that not just the anchor, but all of these, uh, uh, all of the differentials in the tangent complex have constant rank. Right? So it's, uh, it's a less trivial uh, proposition than uh, for just the Lie algebra. It's, it's uh, basically obvious that the uh, transitive Lie algebra is regular. Okay. So, uh, so the, uh, the, uh, 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 yeah, the best I can show at this point is that this main conjecture holds for these transitive uh, DG manifolds. Um, and uh, here's a short sketch of the proof. So it's basically saying that uh, uh, that uh, uh, Andre Henriquez's techniques can be extended to this case right? because by the regularity that I just mentioned, uh, you can also apply here successive truncations to uh, uh, the tangent complex of your manifold. Right? So, uh, so uh, you're ending up with uh, um, a bunch of uh, DG manifolds fibering over each other. And then integrating those uh, gives you this uh, tower of vibrations uh, whose inverse limit is uh, yeah, uh, uh, L of M for our M. Right. So one gets a spectral sequence here whose uh, uh, E2 uh, term is like this. It's just the homotopy groups of uh, the fibers and it converges to the homotopy groups of, of L of M. And here, well, the, uh, the, uh, the bottommost uh, fiber here is just the, uh, the T1, well, the integration of T1 of M naught. And then you've got uh, uh, just the, uh, uh, the homotopy type of, uh, of, 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 the, uh, of the Lie algebra, which is this uh, um, uh, minus first cohomology of the tangent complex. And then uh, uh, similarly, the fibers for, for in these higher degrees, and these are just abelian Lie algebras. Um, so the E2 page, uh, these homotopy groups uh, looks like this. It's just like Enriquez, except there is also a bottom, an additional bottom row here consisting of uh, the homotopy groups of, of your base. Where of course we, uh, we can assume without loss of generality that the base is connected. Yeah, and this capital G is it's just a Lie group integrating H negative one. And uh, yeah, so if you analyze, spectral sequence here, it's no longer just an exact sequence, uh, but uh, it, you can come to, to the same conclusions, uh, which in particular the one has that uh, the Lie algebras um, of uh, the n homotopy group of LFM, and just the, uh, the, the H minus N of its tangent complex uh, at any base point you can choose. So, uh, yeah. It's the end of my story. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you for your patience. Thank you, Dima. Please, questions or comments? Me? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Dima, thank you very much for the talk. Do I have a text uh, with your last theorem? Um, no, not yet. I'm uh, working on it.
Uh, so there's nothing on the archive yet. No, I uh, I would have referred to it if I, if I was. But then I, uh, yeah, and this is, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's probably, uh, it, I think it's worth writing up uh, uh, just in the transitive case already. But I must confess, I, I don't really know what to do about, uh, about by not, you know, about orbit spaces. Uh, just, uh, Dima, just one, one remark, just concerning the transitive case. So, uh, so the terminology, the transitive, it, it, uh, it was due to me, but actually I, uh, the notion uh, which can be interpreted in this way it was introduced by uh, Kurt von Strobel, so who considered a Q, well, a, what they called a Q bundle. And uh, so it's just, they should be mentioned, obviously. Oh, yes, yes. So, uh, so the fact uh, that the uh, reality uh, is uh, the notion was uh, initially introduced by them. Okay, yes, uh, that, that, that is true. You, you're quite right. <sighs> For, for the remark, yes. Um, so if I recall, they, they thought that this, that the, the local triviality uh, that I mentioned was, uh, you know, an extra condition. That, uh, yes, yes, that's that right. Always holds. That's right, but it, it, it always holds, just as follows from non abelian Poincaré lemma. And about this remark about a long line, so, but it's, uh, the question is actually what, what, with, what topology you consider this uh, orbits. So, because if you, uh, you consider with a subspace topology, then in a well second countable space, you cannot have a non-second countable uh, subspace. So it's maybe a fine point with which topology you consider the orbits. And indeed, uh, orbits. Uh, uh, yeah, the thing is that orbits do not have to be closed. So uh, uh, that you certainly have to be careful there. So maybe there's there's a subtlety. So because your you, uh, your condition strong relies on the topology of those orbits, and uh, well, and well, I, mean, I think you need to, uh, what uh, uh, what's usually done here is that uh, one considers embeddings, like you have an embedding of an orbit, and uh, the topology is uh, the uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, the the minimal one that uh, that makes that continuous. So, which indeed may be different from, uh, you know, from, from the subspace topology, but uh, if uh, if there exists an embedding of a long line into you know, like something like R n for some n, yes, that uh, um, I don't know. So, just then, that's, I just yeah. wonder. So, but yes, obviously not as a subspace. So, embedding, but which is not embedding as a subspace. So a continuous mapping, so but uh, oh, well, like a long mapping. curve, yeah, smooth mapping, you know, for, it, it, yes. it, uh, it does a long line of mid, you know, smooth maps into you know, to some uh, uh, compact smooth manifold. Yeah, to admit I don't know. I mean, it's something that I uh, need to look at. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely you know, thankful uh, to Maxine for you know, pointing this out. Well, Maxim asked the question, so perhaps he knows the answer. No, no. Sorry for invoking this. Such uh, horrors here. No, because uh, you mentioned uh, weak homotopy type, and uh, why it's such it's so freaky? Maybe just homotopy type at least. Well, in good cases, yes, weak homotopy will be just uh, just just homotopy type. But here, maybe some subtleties. Well, the, you know, the, uh, the manifolds I know about are CW complexes. Um, the so question is what, whether, well, that's what Maxim asked, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, more, more questions or comments? Yeah, uh, can, I, can I ask you a couple of things? Sure, go ahead. Um, so one thing is you didn't mention differentiation. Um, um, yes, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. What, uh, what's the status of that? No, no, the, uh, 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 but uh, uh, you, you probably know, right? Uh, you know, that it, it, it's, yeah, so the, the, uh, there is a differentiation of, uh, you know, of, of, of simulation manifolds. 
uh, which produce uh, DG manifolds, and that's yeah, it's originally due to Pavel. And uh, yes, since then. Uh, uh, so is that by now completely established? Because uh, it seems that there were some issues. Well, uh, uh, I uh, yeah, since I I, I haven't uh, you know looked uh, okay. those issues. I mean, I I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, I know that uh, uh, a number of uh, people, including yourself, uh, no. uh, have uh, worked. No, on no, this. no. Don't, don't quote my name on. That. <laughs> I have no no significant work on that. No. No, it's just curious. But is that not? But is that? I mean, is that is that problematic? Because I mean, like in um, uh, in you know, completely general abstract terms, in this, uh, and it's it, it certainly works. Uh, okay. So what? Uh, I mean, the the the, the, the you know, that, that that construction totally makes sense and. Uh, uh, I mean, it produces a, a DG manifold. In fact, I would claim that even if uh, uh, if the con condition is not satisfied, uh, uh -huh. that's I mean, it, 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 you, only, you, you only need uh, the con condition to be satisfied locally around the total degeneracy. But, but does it does it? I mean, in general, it will not produce. If you apply this LM that you were talking about, in general, it will not produce the same M that you started with, right? Uh, and the, the question right, was, but but what's the relationship uh, between that that thing that you uh, obtained by differentiating and the original? Right. Map? Right. So, so what the? Uh, uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's basically you're asking what the what the junction the junction should look like yes. in the unit and co-unit. Um, yes. So, uh, so we're in the ordinary Lie theory. You saw uh, you know, isomorphism is supposed to get equivalence, and that's why I was you know, you know trying to figure out what I, I'm trying. I've been trying to figure out what uh, what those are. Um, and uh, uh, since, yeah, well, uh, actually, uh, uh, in, in this particular, uh, in this, uh, yeah, in this particular instance, it's uh, uh, it, it's easier than uh, uh, than this, uh, like the full case of the conjecture, because uh, uh, the maps involved are identity on the base. So you just have to check that uh, uh, that uh, 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 that you get the quasi isomorphism on the tangent complexes, right? So if you uh, uh, so if you, I mean, if you start with, uh, let's say, a Lie algebra, so you compute this, uh, you know, this big thing, you know, the uh, so like space of solutions of from our Cartan equation, and then you differentiate that. You compute. I mean, the, the, uh, basically, what you need to know is that the, uh, uh, this differentiation uh, of Chavers, uh, 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 uh that it uh, preserves the, uh, uh, the tangent complex up to isomorphism. So uh, I mean, if you have a simplicial manifold, you can uh, you can compute its tangent complex directly, you know, like without applying that abstract thing, right? And yeah, so so it, 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 uh, I think the, the cases I looked at, the, uh, uh, the story does check out. I mean, you do get a, 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 an equivalence, right? It's, you don't get an isomorphism, of course. You, know, uh, you start with the something fine dimensional and with something infinite dimensional, but you get an equivalence. And uh, uh, so the co-unit in the uh, so in the other direction. You, uh, 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 so what you get is uh, uh, is not uh, well. I mean, of course, you, you don't get just the universal cover in, in the uh, in the classical sense, or something simply connected. Uh, but you have you get something contractible. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, and that's actually that's well. I mean, Li one is, uh, 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 is 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 not. Uh, it, 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 it's, it, in this case, it's not uh, uh, you know that that hard to state. Because, uh, because you can just use the uh, the classical Lie theory for you know for Lie algebras because the, the thing you're you're mapping out of it this uh, you know the shifted uh, tangent bundle uh, well it's so the tangent bundle of of, 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 of a simplex right consider it as a Lie algebra um, so basically you, you end up with uh, you know like maps of uh, you know like the, the, out of the nerve of the pair group void uh, into your uh, you know into your simplicial manifold. Right, and if it's uh, uh, if it's let's say if that's the nerve of the Lie group, uh, that's of course the same thing as uh, uh, as the uh, uh, just a, uh, a, a smooth map out of uh, out of a simplex into your Lie group such that the, uh, uh, yeah, the, your chosen vertex goes to the identity of. And that uh, I mean, if you just like, you see what, like what happens with the other vertices, just. Uh, it, it maps, uh, uh, so it fibers over the nerve of, of your Lie group, 
and that's that that's your uh, uh, contractible cover that's, okay. uh, so the, the other quick question is uh just a sanity check of your conjecture uh these weak equivalents it if you if you apply to the dg manifold associated with algebraids if one is integrable, the other one is integrable, right? For the weak equivalence. Mm -hmm. Is it clear that this happens with your condition alternative characterization? That you can show that? Um, it depends on. Uh, it depends on. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it should, uh, uh, should be okay. So I'm just thinking about the entrance, like you know, uh, playing your, like your, uh, your techniques through my head. Um, because I think yes, uh, uh, I mean, if uh, if your constructions are uh, are functorial, uh, I mean, they are. They are basically like taking long exact sequences. Yes, so. and that's uh, uh, yeah. I mean, in, in the transitive cases. Uh, uh, Clear. I mean, well, I mean, it's true even uh, it's higher case, uh, right? For Lie algebras, indeed, you, you only, for transitive Lie algebra, you just have like the, that that spectral sequence just has uh, two bottom rows, so it's just a long exact sequence, and that's functorial. So, uh, so that's true. Um, and for, uh, for 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 yeah, for, for the non-transitive case or like singular case, you have to maybe think a bit more, but uh, yeah, I think that uh, 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 that should work as well because I mean, it's uh, 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 like part of the condition. So they, they have to have a quite, quite a more on, on the tangent complexes. And that means uh, 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 it, it has to use isomorphisms on uh, the normal space to, at each point the, to each orbit. That's, that's the zero cohomology. Right, but in the non-transitive case, there is this issue about uh, what we call uh, uniform discreteness that may become a bit more problematic to check. It could be problematic to check, so I, uh, okay. not immediately. Uh, yes. Definitely, yes, definitely, no. But yes, it's something that uh, definitely I, I should look into. And uh, yeah, thanks. If that kills the conjecture, then then that's it. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that. I was just uh, saying. Well, I mean, if either it does or it doesn't, but uh, I mean, it's actually. Uh, uh, something that should be investigated. Thank you. Uh, uh, also, I have some kind of question or maybe suggestion. Did you try to do uh, things which are both in positive and negative degrees? Like ah. the rapid algebraic drum to consider people. And, uh, like, in yes. Uh, well, that, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, thanks for uh, bringing this up. Uh, that's actually the, the holy grail. I mean, I, I, if, if, uh, if I can do this, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I know what happens for for non-positively non graded uh, digit manifolds. I mean, there you basically just have category of vibrant objects, and uh, the weak equivalences there are uh, are well the ones that uh, that one expects them to be. Um, so there you you, you, uh, you you don't get because you I mean you don't have any symmetries, so you just have uh, you know a set bijection on on pi naught, and it's just some you know. A subset of M naught and uh, and a quasi isomorphism of uh, the tangent complexes, or of, uh, uh, equivalently, just uh, quasi isomorphisms of the algebras of functions. Uh, and, and but you know, combining that with uh, you know with, with what I was uh, just talking about here, I mean that's yeah that uh, that, that that would be the ultimate uh, you know, the ultimate goal here. So it's not just higher Lie theory, but higher derived Lie theory, because I. I mean, I, I would uh, I would expect that the uh, the statement of the conjecture uh, uh, would be unchanged, right? Except, well, I mean, the meaning of of pi naught would uh, would change in that case. Uh, but uh, yeah, the conditions would uh, I think would be the same. Yeah, yeah, that's also yeah. And another thing, uh, I also kind of wondering with this question, what will be Zimbo two graded DG manifolds? How one because here we can don't have really this. Can we distinguish deformation zero part and homotopy zero part? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. That it's, it's another you know, yeah a, a very interesting question. Um, right. For uh, yeah, if you just forget about the grading at all and uh, uh, just have a differential and uh, uh, on super manifolds. I mean, I, 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 I uh, Dave Perkiri and I. Uh, 
uh, we uh, constructed a uh, closed model structure on uh, you know, such uh, well, uh, uh, differential superalgebras. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure it uh, would uh, you know, give uh, the right answer in this. Uh, in this, uh, uh, well, I, I'm actually, I'm even pretty sure that it won't give the right answer in this context. Because uh, uh, I mean, something that I didn't have time to discuss is that the, uh, these weak equivalents are, cert are certainly not the same, even in this case, as quasi-isomorphisms. Because I mean, the, the, the algebras uh, we're dealing with here are, you know, are generally pretty far from being, well, I mean, not too far, but uh, they're not co-fibrant. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But yes, it's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that, that we would definitely uh, would like to, uh, you know, investigate you know, kind of like, you know, the version without grading. Because you, know, you can, yes, yeah, so you can still define the homotopy type, of course, uh, in the same way. Um, and yeah, I wonder if uh, the answer will be, will be the same. So, so yes, okay. it is. Thank you. More questions or comments for Dima? Uh, if not, Dima, thanks again. So uh, next week, we are skipping uh, Thursday, and then Global Boisson will be back in two weeks from now. It's so, uh, uh, so, so, so next week, there is no talk, and then uh, the, uh, yeah, one, the, the week after that. Yeah, there will be, uh, there will be again Global Poisson in two weeks from now. Uh -huh. And it will be uh, the uh, the Asian version, right? No, it will be the uh, no, it will be the Western schedule. Okay, right. That's uh, well. Thanks for uh, pointing this out. tell you. So there will be two. Uh, yes. Is there going to be a summer break? Yeah, there will be two more talks, and then there will be summer break. Okay. Okay. Well. Yeah, thanks a lot and see you in two weeks from now. Thank you, Dima, for a nice talk. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye.